Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a Java program for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. And a quadratic equation looks like this. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And in order to find out roots for this equation, first of all, we have to find out the discriminate. So what is discriminate? So I am going to denote it by d is equal to b square minus 4ac. This is the formula for the discriminate. In Java language, we are going to write it as b into b minus 4 into a into c. Okay. So we have three possibilities of the value of d. The first possibility is d value can be 0 and second possibility is it can be greater than 0 and d value can be less than 0. So if d value is equal to 0, the roots are real and equal. The roots are real and equal and if d value is greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct so first of all we will see the theory part and then we will write the java program also okay and if d value is less than 0 the roots are distinct and imaginary distinct and imaginary okay let's see all these three cases one by one let's see the first case if d is equal to 0 then the roots are real and equal so here r1 and r2 will be equal how to find the roots yes we have a formula r1 is equal to minus b by 2a similarly r2 is equal to minus b by 2a so here formula is same for both r1 and r2 so in java language we are going to write this formula as minus b by 2 into a and this one also same thing minus b by 2 into a okay let's see the second case second case is if a discriminate value is greater than 0 so in this case the roots are real and distinct distinct means different so how to find the roots yes we have the formula r1 is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so we already know that b square minus 4ac is nothing but d right d is equal to b square minus 4ac so in the place of this you can write d so i am removing this and in the place of this i am going to write d and r2 is equal to minus b so in r1 you got plus here in r2 will get minus so minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac nothing but d by 2a in java language how we are going to write this formula yes see here minus b plus for finding square root we have a method called sqrt which is in a class called math so sqrt of d and it is divided by 2 into a and what about the second one r2 same thing minus b minus square root of d can be written in java as math dot square root of d and everything is divided by 2 into a okay and coming to the third case if d value is less than 0 so here the roots are distinct and imaginary the roots are distinct and imaginary so how to find the roots so the roots will be in the form of x plus i y and r2 will be in the form of x minus i y now how to find the values of x and y we have the formulas x is equal to minus b by 2a and y is equal to square root of b square minus 4ac so in the place of that i can write minus t square root of minus d by 2 into a so in java i can write this as minus b by 2 into a and y can be written as math dot square root of minus d by 2 into a okay and now let's write the java program for this open the new text document in your current working directory and start typing the program start the class class roots public static void main of string args start the main method first of all declare the roots r1 and r2 both are of type double and our equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c so we have to read the values of a b and c from the keyboard okay to read from the keyboard i am going to use the scanner class scanner sc sc is object new scanner connect this with the keyboard keyboard name is system dot in 
and this scanner class is present in util package so import that package import java.util.star and i have explained how to read data from the keyboard by using the scanner class i will give the link of that video in the description as well as please watch that video and come back to this video okay and now ask the user to enter the values of a b and c enter a b and c values now write double a is equal to sc dot next double so we are going to use a method called next double to read any double value in the same way you read the value for b as well as for c same statements double c sorry double b is equal to sc dot next double similarly double c is equal to sc dot next double so after giving the values for a b and c the next step is to find the discriminate so the formula for discriminant is double d is equal to b square minus 4ac right b into b minus 4 into a into c now write code for the first case if d is equal to 0 then print that the roots are real and equal roots are real and equal and next find the roots so since roots are equal i can write r1 is equal to r2 is equal to what is the formula minus b by 2 into a and after finding the roots just print those roots system dot out dot print ln r1 is equal to plus r1 same statement copy and paste r2 is equal to plus r2 so this is the end of the first case and now write the second case else that means if d value is not equal to 0 we are left with two more possibilities what are they d value might be greater than 0 right so if d value is greater than 0 then print that roots are real and distinct and now write the formula for r1 r1 is equal to minus b plus math dot square root of d the whole thing by 2 into a and r2 will be almost the same with only one modification just copy and paste it here so r2 is equal to minus b here change plus as minus and remaining is same and after that you just print r1 and r2 so copy this and just paste here so this is the end of case 2 and now we are left with the last one so if d is not equal to 0 we will come here and if d is not greater than 0 we will come to this last point else the final option is obviously d value will be less than 0 so directly print them so directly print the roots are distinct and imaginary roots are distinct and imaginary so one root will be x plus i y and another root will be x minus i y now how to find the values of x and y so write the formulas for them double x is equal to minus b by 2 into a minus b by 2 into a similarly write the formula for y also double y is equal to math dot square root of minus d by 2 into a and after that just print the roots system dot out dot print ln r1 is equal to plus x plus plus i plus y so how it is going to work first of all r1 is equal to will be printed to that value of x will be printed and to that plus i will be added and finally value of y will be printed okay so whatever we have in double quotations that will be as it is printed and whatever we have not in double quotations their values will be printed okay and print r2 the only change here is just change plus into minus close the else and next close the main method and close the class and save this program with the name roots.java roots.java click on save now open the command prompt and compile the program java c roots.java and press enter check for any errors yes we have one error there so somewhere i forget to type yes yes here once again save it and uh, once again compile it and execute the program java roots so it is asking for values of a b and c so a value is for example 2 b value is 5 c value is 3 and press enter the roots are real and distinct so r1 is equal to minus 1 r2 is equal to minus 1.5